Hello everyone, this is Kokila, closing my second year AAA in TCE. I am here now to explain about the open circuit test on three-phase alternator by simulating using virtual labs. The aim of this experiment is to predetermine the voltage regulation of a three-phase alternator. Generally, machines generating alternating EMF are called alternators and it works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It has two major parts. Theta and Rota. Here, open circuit test is performed by keeping the armature winding open without changing its speed. Let's start the experiment. This is the circuit diagram. The major component is DC shunt motor. Since the field winding is parallel to the armature, it is known as the shunt motor. It is the prime mover which provides the mechanical input to the alternator. Since it's a three-phase alternator, it has three phases, R-phase, Y-phase and B-phase. And the windings are star connector. The armature winding is kept open for this OC test. The tachometer is used to measure the speed in RPM. The voltmeter or ammeter are used to measure the voltage and current respectively. This is the armature rear start of the DC shunt motor which is used to get the rated speed. And by adjusting the field rear start of the alternator, you are able to get the rated voltage. For conducting this experiment, we need to know the major two ratings that is speed 1500 rpm and armature voltage 450 volt. And the DC shunt motor ratings are here. Let's start the experiment by closing the 440 volt DC switch as it gives supply to the DC shunt motor. Next, next we have to bring the alternator to its rated speed, that is 1500 rpm. So I am gradually increasing it up to 1500 rpm. It's now near, nearly 850 RPM. Now it is nearly 1000 RPM. It crosses 1200 RPM. Now it's nearly 1000 yeah, it's now 1500 RPM. Next, we have to excite the rotor part. In order to produce constant magnetic flux, we are giving 220 volt DC supply by closing its switch. By adjusting the field rear stand, we need to bring the alternator to its rated voltage of 415 volt. At the same time, we need to start storing its data and need to click show data. I am repeating this process. We need to increase the field rheostat up to its rated voltage. Now we are up to 350 volts and our rated voltage is 450 volts. Now it is 413 volts, which is the nearer to 415 volts, that is the rated voltage. After obtaining the necessary data, let's generate a graph between the field current and open circuit voltage. Click generate graph. 
by this graph, we can able to see that the field current increases as the excitation of the DC field increases. We will see the open circuit voltage of the alternator also increases till its rated value. If we increase beyond this rated value, then it will be in the saturated condition. So, no much change in the rated voltage. The VOC from this graph is used to calculate the synchronous impedance. After completing the experiment, we have to bring all the components to its initial position. First, I am bringing the field rheostat to its initial position. Then I am opening the DPSC switch by disconnecting the supply. At last, we have to bring the alternator to its initial speed. So I am decreasing. I am decreasing it from 1500 RPM to its initial position. We are bringing it to its initial position. Yeah, now it's in initial position. After that, we have to disconnect the supply to the alternator by opening the DPSD switch. The experiment is done.